five. Listen. Before we start today's listening activity, please, in case you haven't watched the video of one warm up, please watch it because many of the words we're dealing with, all these crafts, are from that video. Listen to four people and match them with the arts and crafts they do. List of people, list of crafts. Eddie, Sandra, Tony, and Mandy. These are the people. And these are the crafts. Collage, pottery, carpentry, rug making, jewelry making, and calligraphy. There are two extra arts and crafts which you do not need to use. If you notice, we have four people and we have six arts and crafts. That means we have two extras. Extras means not necessary. We will just match four, just match four. I will play the recording. You listen and try to figure out who loves what. Five. Listen. Listen to four people and match them with the arts and crafts they do. There are two extra arts and crafts which you do not need to use. Eddie. Last year, someone asked me to make a poster for a pottery exhibition. I didn't want to make it on the computer, so I made it by hand. It was difficult, but I really enjoyed writing out the words. Everyone liked it and asked me to do other posters. Now I'm really into it, and I've even started lessons every Monday and Wednesday. Sandra. My mother loves making things. She made me some beautiful jewellery last month and my friends really like it. I prefer making pictures. I have a lot of magazines, so I cut out photos from them and stick them together to make larger pictures. It's really interesting and one day I want to have an exhibition with my work. Tony My family isn't very creative really. My grandfather was a carpenter, but he doesn't make anything anymore. I like making things, so I went to a local college to learn a craft. I tried carpentry at first, but I'm not a carpenter like my grandfather. So then I tried a pottery class. It was a bit boring in the beginning, but I'm really fond of it now. I make things for my friends and family all the time. Mandy my friends sometimes make fun of my hobby, but I don't listen to them. There is a long tradition of rug making in my country. And just like calligraphy and pottery, there is a real art to making beautiful ones. My mother taught me all the basic skills, but then I was on my own. It takes weeks, sometimes months to finish, but it's always worth it. OK, the recording is done. Now, I suggest that you pause the video and match these people with the arts and crafts. In case you're not sure, you can always watch this video again. Now, I'm gonna move on and show you the listening transcript. Remember, this is not a reading lesson, this is listening. But this listening transcript is for those who were not able to understand what they're listening to. I always suggest that you listen to this clip more than once. Just repeat this video, listen to the clip over and over again. Your listening ability will improve. I will play it one more time. This time you will listen and follow. Eddie. Last year, someone asked me to make a poster for a pottery exhibition. I didn't want to make it on the computer, so I made it by hand. It was difficult, but I really enjoyed writing out the words. Everyone liked it and asked me to do other posters. Now I'm really into it, and I've even started lessons every Monday and Wednesday. Sandra My mother loves making things. She made me some beautiful jewellery last month, and my friends really like it. I prefer making pictures. I have a lot of magazines, so I cut out photos from them 
and stick them together to make larger pictures. It's really interesting, and one day I want to have an exhibition with my work. Tony. My family isn't very creative, really. My grandfather was a carpenter, but he doesn't make anything anymore. I like making things, so I went to a local college to learn a craft. I tried carpentry at first, but I'm not a carpenter like my grandfather. So then I tried a pottery class. It was a bit boring in the beginning, but I'm really fond of it now. I make things for my friends and family all the time. Mandy, my friends sometimes make fun of my hobby, but I don't listen to them. There is a long tradition of rug making in my country, and just like calligraphy and pottery, there is a real art to making beautiful ones. My mother taught me all the basic skills, but then I was on my own. It takes weeks, sometimes months, to finish, but it's always worth it. Okay, one more time from the top. This time I'll read. Eddie, last year someone asked me. When you ask someone to do something for you, that's different. Like when you ask a question and you need an answer. When you ask here means like you are making a request. You need somebody to do you a favor. <clears throat> so someone asked me to make a poster for a pottery exhibition. What's an exhibition? An exhibition is a public display of works of art or other items of interest. This is a picture of an exhibition. There's an exhibition for cars, for computers, for all different kinds of stuff where you manufacturers can display their products. I didn't want to make it on the computer, so I made it by hand. It was difficult, but I really enjoyed writing out the words. So he was writing something. He was writing. He didn't use a computer. He used his hand. What do you think he was working on? When you write something using your hand and you write beautifully, that means what? Everyone liked it and asked me to do other posters. Now I'm really into it. Now I really love it. And I've even started lessons. Every Monday and Wednesday. This guy is a calligrapher, just like me. I like calligraphy and so is Eddie. Calligraphy. Calligrapher. Sandra. My mother loves making things. She made some beautiful jewelry. So, is her art or craft jewelry making? No, that's her mother's. She means the mother is a jewelry maker, but not Sandra. And my friends really like it. I prefer. When you prefer something, that means you like it better than another. I prefer making pictures. I have a lot of magazines. Here is a picture of magazines. So I cut out photos from them. She cuts using scissors. Scissors to cut photos from the magazines. Uh, and stick them together. When you stick something with, with something else, you attach it probably using glue, you know glue, you attach more than one thing with another thing using something adhesive or glue to make larger pictures. It's really interesting and one day I want to have an exhibition with my work. Okay, what do you think her art and craft is? She cuts out photos using scissors from magazines stick them together to make larger picture. This is collage. Tony, my family isn't very creative. Really, my grandfather was a carpenter, but he doesn't make anything anymore. I like making things, so I went to a local college. When you go to a local college, that means if you live in Jeddah, 
the local college would be in Jeddah, the same city, okay, to learn a craft. I, tra I tried carpentry at first, but I am not a carpenter like my grandfather. So then I tried a pottery class. It was a bit boring, boring, dull, not interesting in the beginning. But I am really fond of it now. I really like it. We learned fond of and into in the vocabulary lesson that we had earlier in another video. I make things for my friends and family all the time. So this guy is likes pottery because he, he says that he tried pottery class. It was boring at the beginning, but I'm really fond of it now. Now he really likes it. This is his craft, pottery. Mandy. My friends sometimes make fun of my hobby. When you make fun of something, that means you mock it. You know, mocking. And it's very terrible when you make fun of someone or something that someone has made. For example, if one of your friends or uh, let's say that your brother or sister picked up a craft, let's say that your friend or brother picked up pottery or collage or any any craft, at the beginning he will not be that good at this craft. So please do not make fun of him or her. That will make him stop. And you, you want to encourage people to be creative because all what we are reading about is how to be creative. The same thing if this happened to you, if for example you picked up an art or craft and you start working you started working on it, and if somebody made fun of you, he mocked you, you don't listen to them. You don't stop. You keep doing what you love to do. But I don't listen to them. There's a long tradition of frog making in my country. Tradition, tra tra tradition is the transmission of customs or beliefs from generation to generation. And just like calligraphy and pottery, there is a real art to making beautiful ones. My mother taught me, taught is the past tense of teach, like teacher, teach, taught. My mother taught me all the basic skills. Basic skills, like not the advanced ability. Skills is like skill is like ability. Basic means not advanced. But then I was on my own. It takes weeks, sometimes months to finish, but it's always worth it. It always pays off. When something is worth it, it pays off. That means it's not waste of time. It's worth it. You work for weeks or even months to finish a rug, but it's worth it. That means it's not a waste of time. So obviously Mandy is a rug maker. She likes making rugs. Okay, now that we are done, we are back. Eddie is the calligrapher. He likes calligraphy. Sandra, collage. Tony, pottery. And Mandy, rug making. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it and share it with friends.